what's up people welcome back to my channel dr fix uh, so if you are new to the channel please do subscribe so all these photos are taken from the google and uh, let's talk about the hippodon and the both are not so you can see uh, both of these nodes that is the um, the hippodon node and the both are not the cause due to osteoarthritis so the osteoarthritis of finger joints gives rise to the formation of these nodes so whenever the, um, the distal interphalangeal joint is involved then it is called a warden node okay this one so and whenever the proximal interference that means the, the one the joint that is closer to uh, to you is involved it is called that it is called both arts nodes and both are, are caused due to osteoarthritis so you can see in the x-ray so you can see that there is osteophyte formation over here and the joint space is narrowed and you, but you can see see in the other joint spaces there is a clear good space present there like the, here you can see joint there is proper joint space narrowing and osteoarthritis means that new bone is formed so this formation of a new ball, bone gives rise to bulging appearance when seen from outside and those are called nodes so and there is furthermore other changes like um, sclerosis subchondral sclerosis and Defy formation and joint space narrowing. So these are the three main features that are that can be seen in the osteoarthritis of the finger joints. Um, you can see it in here also. So this is the important joint PA, PAP. Sorry, in DAP. So there is a important joint. joint. Both sort of joint is PAP. So whenever you see these types of nodules uh, in your open cases, um, then there is no even there is no need to do X-ray because these are very um, almost serious uh, diagnosis of the osteoarthritis of the finger joints. So you need you need to manage the way, but also you can do X-ray just to confirm. Thank you guys.